<coughs> Congratulations on the win, Damien. It seemed like uh, you were a little emotional in the post-fight interview. Can you explain why? Um, probably a little, probably a little mix between um, being my first win in the UFC. You know, feeling like I should have been here a long time ago. I've tried out for the Ultimate Fighter, you know, heaps of times, and you know, I always felt like I, d I deserved to be here. So, getting my first win was, was kind of emotional, but. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a veteran and, uh, you know, I've been there and been back and I just want other people to, you know, I just want to be a role model, you know, I just, I just want people to, to know that, you know, the, the, there's light there, you know what I mean, so. Do you, do you get that from a lot of people? Do a lot of people reach out to you and say, you know, uh, look, look you know, what you're doing? I get a lot of people sort of asking about, uh, you know, fighting while in the military and all that sort of stuff and, you know, it, it wasn't easy for me. I had to get out. The Australian Army is not like the American Army, you know, quite supportive of their sports and that. Uh, the Australian Army is very supportive of certain sports, you know, and combat sports up until, you know, apparently a few weeks ago wasn't wasn't one of them. Um, and even now, MMA, they're still not real supportive of. So, you know, I left the military so I could pursue a career in this. And um, it's taken me a few years, but, I, you know, I finally got here. So I feel like that, that decision was, was a good one. Um, but, you know, more so that, you know, guys that go overseas and come back, you know, there's, you might be able to bring them back, but, you know, you can't take that out of them. So, uh, you know, they have good days and bad days. And I just want, you know, <clears throat> I just want them to know that um, those good days are worth 10 bad ones, you know what I mean? So just keep pushing on because there's light at the end of the tunnel. And if, uh, you know, if they want something bad enough, go and get it. You know, if, if it's just having a good day they want, then, you know, go out there and have a good day. So can you get called back at any time? No. No. Okay. Um, switching gears to the fight, did you think the stoppage was late? Uh, no, I don't think so. You know, um, look, I, I, I can't really remember the, the last couple of hammer fists I threw maybe. I don't know how many I threw, maybe two or three. But, um, you know, he, once, I, once I dropped in the second time, I knew he was out. Um, but... He put his legs up there, you know, and he, and he tried to lock me up, but, he, you know, he wasn't really, his arms were sort of flying around, so it was, um, you know, he rolled himself over, and then I think I landed like two or three more. I don't think it was, I don't think the stoppage was late or early, I think it was perfect, you know what I mean? Um, <coughs> Mark Goddard's a good ref, and, uh, you know, he was pretty clear on his instructions before the fight that he'd give us a chance, and um, I think he stopped the fight as soon as he stopped moving, so that's the chance that he told us both of us he was going to give us, so... I was reading that you took time off from your full-time job for this training camp. Is that the military job or a different nah, job? No, nah. I work uh, in the prison service in, uh, back in Australia. And uh, I'm a shift worker, so I normally train around 12-hour shifts. Um, and, I, and I felt, after being given my, my first opportunity on short notice, that um, I had to make the most of, of this second fight, you know. Um, I had to do everything that I could do in my power to put me in a position to to win the fight, you know. Um, I felt like I need to be in a position to win it and put on a show, but I had to win the fight, you know. Um, I, and I don't mean that so I could keep my contract or anything. I just mean that, you know, I, I wanted to be here and I wanted to win and, and I needed to do what I what I had to do to, to do that. And my work was supportive and they gave me two months off and, um, you know, I got my coaches together and uh, I trained at the same gym I trained at for the last six years and, and we put a camp together and here I am today. What do you do in the prison service? I'm a prison officer. Oh, you are? Yeah. Wow. So you deal with some uh, pretty tough guys. That's all right, man, you know. Do they root for you? Do they know what you do? Like, no, nah, no, nah, you know, it's not, it's not something that's spoken about. It's kind of, okay. It's kind of like an unspoken thing, you know. They know. Uh, prisoners aren't stupid as much right. as some of us would believe. They're, uh, you know, they know what's going on. But uh, I don't run around gloating about it, you know. I'm a humble person, and uh, this, this, is, uh, this is my side project. This is, this is what keeps me... Um, focused and, and keeps me balanced in life and uh, I have no reason to talk about it at work. It's Work's work, you know, I have great colleagues and uh, they're super supportive of me but this this isn't the focus of everything I do at work. I, I do my job, so. Are you going back? Yeah, of course. Okay. I've got a, you know, it's a government job. I've got a good job. Um, you know, like I said, they're supportive of me. Uh, I expect that um, come next time whenever uh, Mr. Joe Silver gives me the same warning that he gave me this time for this fight, that uh, I'll be able to organise another six to eight weeks off for a camp. You know, they've, they've sort of, uh, 
um, told me that that's that's the case. So we'll, we'll just see what comes of it. You know, I'll talk to him when I get back, and um, and we, we sort of plan ahead. So we we know, you know, I want to fight around about this month or whatever, and uh, and we we pencil it in. So you know, we just put the the things in place for it to happen. That you wanted to set the pace for the evening, you wanted to start the third half. How happy are you with the performance? And you figured that played out any better than the no, nah, man, it, it played out exactly as I thought. Um, you know, if I stood here and said, oh, I wish I had taken less shots, I'd be lying because, like, at the end of the day, we go into a fight and we expect to get hit in the face or kicked or whatever. Um, you know, he threw a few um, jumping knees and jumping kicks, and I didn't really expect that. You know, I sort of expected him to throw a lot of looping punches and load up on his leg kicks, and... Um, and I thought if I kept my punches straight that I would, that I would catch him. And, and I literally drilled for eight weeks with my striking coach, not even power, but just keeping my elbows in and just straight punches, straight punches, straight punches. So everything that looped, I beat him to the punch. And that's exactly what happened tonight. Um, yeah. You were really pushing forward. Is that something that you saw that that opening was a possibility with him? Or was that more of you just really wanted to start the fight off right and maybe get past that loss and really, you know, sort of represent yourself because it was, it was amazing to see because you seemed like you kind of just threw everything to abandon we're going to go forward no matter what oh you know it was a, it was a Oh, it was a funny fight. It was a funny game plan. You know, I'd, my game plan, I don't game plan like we're going to do this for the whole fight. I just pick things that I think are his weak spots and his strong points. And I just focus on, I just, I just focus throughout the camp on being able to exploit his weaknesses, but not get hit or caught by his strengths. Not necessarily ever, but just be able to deal with them if it happens. And, um... You know, there's obviously I've taken a, a fair amount of criticism myself about not being on the front foot, you know, um, not throwing enough punches, not being busy enough to win fights if they go the distance. I know, you know, prior to my UFC debut, there was, there was some some stuff about that. You know, I don't really let it get to me. More, I'm more just used it as, as like a, a reason to concentrate on that and training, you know. Oh, I don't throw enough. I don't have a high enough work rate to win a points decision. Well, you know, obviously I do. And... Uh, it didn't go to the points, but my work rate was enough to, to put him on the back foot and to um, catch him. And, you know, he comes forward and he turns into a brawl. I couldn't let that happen, so I had to go forward. So that's, that's, that was why I went forward. You know, I mean, I can't be on the back foot, so. I just had one more question. Uh, what excites you more, this win or getting verified on Twitter? <laughs> Man, there's still Instagram and Facebook to go, so let's say the win oh, for the night. One down, two to go. <laughs> Best yeah. of luck. No, definitely this win. Okay. Thanks, man. Good to know.